Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be attempting to fix one of my subscribers' music. First off, big shout out to Simon Servita for this video idea. I was watching some of his videos and I thought this idea was awesome. So big shout out to him. He's the inspiration behind today's video. Today, Joey T, we're gonna be working on your song. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Also, before we get started, I dropped my first production course, ladies and gentlemen. Link for that will be down below in the description if you guys are interested in checking that out. All right, so I've got the stems from Joey in FL Studio here. Let's take a listen to what we're working with today. Dude, so come on, how impressive is that, man? Shout out to Joey T again. I really, really love the break. I think where this idea maybe falls a little bit short for my taste is the drop. I kind of was anticipating a bouncier, more of a, like a hybrid prog style drop instead of a traditional progressive house drop. And I do think that we can do some things to the break as well to sort of elevate it and make it sound a little bit more professional. All right, so let's start building a lead stack using his melody, and then we can also refine that melody. This is a pretty cool lead. Mainly what I'm doing is shortening up those MIDI notes. That's gonna fit the style that I'm going for. And then also just slightly refining some of the notes that he did. I think this is gonna work a little bit better. Now that we've refined the melody a little bit more, we can go ahead and work on this lead stack. Now for the next layer, I really wanna go for a nice bossy gritty sound. And this one just fits the bill perfectly. Dude, that lead stack sounds awesome already. We're gonna add one more layer to this stack. I'm gonna go for Warm Essential. I'm gonna open up some processing that I've done in the past just to save some time. Dude, we're moving and grooving, how you doing? The last thing that we should do with the leads before we move on to doing the bass and all the other elements is to add some pitch automation. That sounds sick. I think now we should focus on the bass, I think. I use this in a few of my songs now. I love this sound so much. So what I wanna do for this bass sound is I'm gonna create a bass line using the same rhythm of the lead melody. All right, so that means just kind of taking all these guys and we're gonna put them all on G, all right? And then same thing, this section will be D sharp. I'm gonna also add like a super saw bass. There's a particular preset that I think is gonna work like a million dollars, all right? Which one is, oh, could be a bass, dude. This one is so nice. I feel like we can have some fun with octave jumps and stuff and that'll make the bass a lot spicier and bouncier. Now, of course, we also need to get a sub bass in there. Oh yeah, that is mean. We can compress the bass a little bit, add a bit of drive. I'm condensing the bass line so that the bass line progression changes every bar or so instead of two bars, just making the overall pace a little bit faster. Dude, I'm loving this. This is exactly what I had in my mind. I think Joey's kick actually works really well with this idea, so I'm gonna leave it. Let's just raise it up in volume here. He had a cool drum stem. 
I think we can steal some of these like little fills that he's got going here. We'll keep that one. Damn, my boy. Joey's going crazy with the fills. Awesome. All right, so we're going to just use all of those. For this style drop, we definitely need a clap snare. As much as I love these fills, unfortunately, the ride that is playing on top of these fills is giving me some problems. I just don't want it to be there straight up. So what I'm going to have to do is kind of just do a little bit of finessing. Like this one is good. We can rock with this guy with the little fade in. Same with this. We could probably fade. This one, it might be easier for me to just replace it with my own laser sound. We'll use this laser and then same thing with the clap fill here. I'm going to have to use my own. This one's pretty similar. All right, now, of course, we need some additional rhythm and additional energy in the top end. So we can go for like a noise ride, a crash, something of the sorts here. He's got a great vocal in this song and incorporating a piece of that in the drop, I think is a no brainer. So let me see. I, I think this is so perfect. We'll do super massive though. I really want to wash this out. Let me record this into audio before we do anything else. So now that we've got it into audio, the next most important thing is to just adjust the shaping of this. I almost wanted to have that telephone effect. So we can go ahead and actually go to phone, I think it's called. I do want the highs though. I want it to be airy, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. Now what we can do is go ahead and add Pan Man. This is gonna make it go side to side, make it a little bit more interesting. And then obviously some side chain as well, so it bounces in the drop. And OTT 100%. I love the lead delay as well here. So we can go ahead and copy this to the vocal too. Hold up. These synths sound so sick, especially now with this vocal in there. All right. So I think we're in a pretty good spot for the drop. Let's go ahead and work on some of the break now. I love his intro chords. He's got this super saw pluck layer that I think we can do without. I'm going to bring in the Reese for the second half of the verse. So there's going to be no bass in the intro like there is right now. Yeah. I've also muted his ambient stem. It's a bit too bright to have right in the beginning of the track, in my opinion. I want to open up the track with just the vocal and just like one or two cool synths. And then once like the re space comes in, the drums, maybe we can introduce this ambient stem and that'll provide us with more energy and stuff. We can sprinkle in a little bit of ear candy to really keep it interesting. So particularly, we got this great vocal here. I think that we should play around with some vocal delay throws. So right there on Lost, I feel like could be a cool spot. Increase some of the um, high pass here. Turn off ping pong. We'll get a little bit funky here. Let's add ensemble. And maybe even a little bit of vintage verb. Ooh, and then, okay, for when she sings wonder, instead of doing a delay throw there, we can actually go with like a cool synth sound or something. Makes me wonder, what the hell I want a little bit more rhythm. I noticed over here, he's got a snap stem for the second break. Might also be cool to incorporate this here. Okay, exonate the snaps, but keep the cinematic drums in there. Just gonna EQ them to have slightly less boominess, especially because I have the massive respace in there. I'm also thinking we add a sweep here to take us into that big chord section. 
Okay, now let's focus a little bit on this big hands up section. I absolutely love the hard style kicks. I think that's like a really genius idea. They kind of seemed like they were a little off beat. So let me see if I could just fine tune this. I feel like the kick should hit when the chords hit. Right here, we got some clashing going on because we got this big sub boom. We got the bass and we got a kick all going on at the same time. So we might have to just get rid of this altogether. I feel like that's probably what I would do. Although it does sound cool having that big sub boom. So maybe we'll get rid of the bass instead. I like that idea. So for this sub boom then, we'll add some side chain to it so that when the kick comes in, there's no clashing. Perfect. For my own sanity, I want to try my own chord stack. All right, so I pulled up this big chord stack that I've used in the past. It sounds like this. A bit more angelic. Let me also cut up the MIDI quick. I noticed he had this really cool like LFO thing. Um, he automates that. So we'll go ahead and do the same thing. I'll pull up LFO tool. Actually, we'll stick with a triangle shape and then just reduce the volume. So it'll go up and then right here is where it'll be full blast. We're gonna go ahead and replace the bass in this section as well. Okay, now I think this bass is gonna cut through the mix more. It's not as muddy, so this whole section will have a little bit more breathing room. Absolutely, absolutely. The last order of business is to work on this build a little bit more. We probably wanna copy over our drop leads into the build, and we're gonna throw on a Simplon, an Endless Smile, and a Fruity Balance. We'll get some nice filtering going on. I hear the vocal right before the drop clear as day. So that's something that we can go ahead nice and fast and just copy this guy over. I've got the perfect fill for this. Absolutely. I think adding an additional riser is a good shout. I think this would sound good. Yeah. Alrighty, folks. I think we're in a fantastic spot here. Let's take a listen from the top and let's see what myself and Joey T came up with. Driving down a road trying to get lost. And right now it makes me wonder why the hell I've waited there so long. Now I want to chase the thunder. Drive through the rain. I'll find you again. Keep chasing a thrill. Yo, 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 listen, 
shout out Joey T, man. Everyone in the comments, type in shout out Joey T. All right, because this is so freaking sick. I think today's video was a success. I had a lot of fun doing this. If you guys want me to do another kind of video like this, let me know in the comments down below. And just to be clear too, this isn't considered an episode of Studio Time with Riles just because there's like a clear topic. I kind of reserve Studio Time with Riles for when I'm just creating my own stuff in the studio. So again, because this is Joey's track, you can't get the stems from it if you are a part of the Patreon. Just want to make that clear. But yeah, man, shout out Simon Servita for the video idea. Shout out Joey T. If you guys want to see more like this, let me know. Well, that'll be all for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell so you're notified the next time I upload. Guys, we're approaching 40K. Let's pump it also ladies and gentlemen join my patreon we got custom sample packs we got feedback we got lessons we got a little bit of everything for anybody stems to studio time with rouse if you want i also just dropped my first production course on my patreon shop so you guys can check all of that out down below in the description all my links can be found there and yeah guys that'll be all for me today i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll see you in the next video